Okay, family, so I want to read this article to you, and then what I'll do is I'll do the reading straight afterwards, okay? So the 70s show actor, Danny Masterson, now this is highly requested by some of you guys, is back on trial again. The new trial began on Monday morning with jury selection in downtown Los Angeles. After the jury in Masterson's first trial last year, failed to reach a unanimous verdict, stating that they were hopelessly deadlocked with a hung jury. A mistrial was declared in November and Judge Charlene Olmedo denied a defense request to dismiss the case. Now Masterson will face the same three charges associated with the same three alleged victims, but in front of a new jury. Masterson, who maintains his innocence, is accused of forcibly the women at his home in the Hollywood Hills in incidents spanning from 2001 to 2003. At the time, he was starring in the hit sitcom That 70s Show, which ran on Fox from 1998 through to 2006. Masterson's first trial began last October and spanned over the course of two months with lengthy deliberations. Though they could not reach a verdict, the jurors leaned towards acquittal with votes of 10 to 2, um, 8 to 4, and 7 to 5 on the three counts. In an effort to avoid a new trial, Masterson's defense argued that a new jury would be able to reach um, would not be able to reach a unanimous verdict to, um, it's usually an unanimous verdict, but anyway, a unanimous verdict to convict with the same evidence. The prosecution argued that the jury ignored supporting testimony in the case. Not giving these victims another chance with a jury who can sit there and consider all of the evidence, win, lose or draw. That would be an injustice. Prosecutor Reinhold Muller said, he, Prosecutor Reinhold Muller said, the judge said arguments about what a future jury might do was speculative and unsupported by the facts and that a different outcome at a retrial is at least a possibility. This is a pretty lengthy article. So I'm going to do a reading based on this. But hold on. The retrial will be very similar to Masterson's first trial. Though then, sorry, though there will likely be some new expert witnesses and cooperating witnesses. The prosecution is aiming to bring more experts to testify about the effects of drugs and alcohol. Let me read that bit again. The prosecution is aiming to bring more experts to testify about the effects of drug and alcohol, drugs and alcohol can have on memory. In the first trial, they painted a picture of Masterson as a serial who utilized drugs and alcohol to women. Then the defense is, uh, sorry, though the, hold on a second, my reading is so janky at times. Though the defense is opposing it, there is the possibility that the judge will allow one additional woman to testify as a prior bad acts witness. Now, prior bad acts is in inverted commas, okay, witness, which is an uncharged witness who testifies in order to establish a pattern of behavior, bringing the total number of accusers to potentially take the stand to five. The three women whose allegations are tied to the three charges that Masterson faces are all the same. On Monday in court, Masterson's attorney, Philip Cohen, said that the defense's, the defense's witness list is basically the same as the last one. Masterson's defense team includes Cohen, 
who was his lead attorney in last year's trial, along with Sean Holy, who was famously on O.J. Simpson's defense team and has represented many celebrities in high-profile cases, including Kanye West, Justin Bieber, Lindsay Lohan, Kim Kardashian, and more recently, Shia LaBeouf and Tory Lanez. The prosecution in Masterson's case is being led by Muller and Ariel Anson. Masterson's first trial put an unwelcome spotlight on the Church of Scientology, with women on the stand accusing the organization of trying to cover up the allegations against a high profile member. Masterson is a Scientologist, and all three accusers are in the trial, sorry, in the trial are former Scientologists. Merci beaucoup, madame. Okay. Though the judge stated, this trial is not going to be inundated with Scientology, quote unquote, the church became a dominant theme in the courtroom. Masterson's attorney argued that Scientology was irrelevant to the case and sought to minimize any mention of it, but said in his closing argument last year that Scientology was brought up more than 700 times. The three Jane Doe's who testified say they were being threatened to be excommunicated from the church and were dissuaded by the church's authorities to go into the, in going to the police with accusations against Masterson. One of the women who testified in last year's trial called Scientology a criminal organization. Another woman had a panic attack on the stand and all three testified that the church's teachings made it hard for them to conceptualize the assaults as Leah Remini, a former member of Scientology who has become Hollywood's most outspoken critic against the church, brought attention to Masterson's trial last year, frequently tweeting about the case. After the trial ended with a hung jury, she slammed Scientology and its leader, David Miscovich, accusing him of covering up crimes within the organization. While this is not the outcome I wanted for the survivors of Danny Masterson's predation, predator behavior, predation, I'm glad a retrial has already been rescheduled, Remini tweeted. My heart breaks for the women who have courageously and tireless, tirelessly, hold on, my heart breaks for the women who have courageously and tirelessly fought for justice for over five years. For years, they have been targeted and harnessed by Scientology and its agents. The first trial attracted a considerable amount of media attention, especially on days when Masterson's famous family members were spotted at the courthouse. Masterson's wife, the actor and model the actor and model Bijou Phillips regularly appeared in court to support her husband, along with Masterson's brother-in-law, actor Billy Baldwin, and his wife, the singer, China Phillips. When the court announced its decision to retry the case, two of the women who testified at the trial, identified as Jane Doe II and Jane Doe III, issued a statement applauding the decision. <coughs> we are pleased. We are pleased that Danny Masterson will not be permitted to simply escape criminal accountability. Despite suffering years of intimidation and let me read that bit again. We are pleased that Danny Masterson will not be permitted to simply escape criminal accountability. 
Despite suffering years of intimidation and harassment, we are completely committed to participating in the next criminal trial to the to the extent requested by prosecutors and again testifying about Mr. Masterson's depraved behavior. The new trial could last up to two months, but on Monday, the judge said she does not expect the trial to last that long. More than 200 prospective jurors will come in this week, will come in this week for questioning. Before the new jury is selected, 12 jurors will be chosen, along with eight alternatives. Testimony in the trial is expected to begin next Monday, April the 24th. Now, Lisa Marie Presley was Okay, ABC News reported that Lisa Marie Presley <clears throat> was asked by Scientology to dissuade Danny Masterson's accuser, the prosecutor says. Okay, so is, is that like interfering with, I'm not that fat, I've just I've got pants on underneath here. Uh, That is that interfering with the witness or I mean because obviously they were, hold on okay the prosecution in the Dan what's the bit about Lisa Marie okay one potential and highly anticipated witness witness who did not end up testifying at trial is Lisa Marie Presley a longtime friend of one of the accusers, Jane Doe, Jane Doe One. Okay. On Tuesday, outside the presence of the jury, attorneys argued about whether Presley should be permitted to take the witness stand. Uh, I'm not going to speak directly to Lisa yet. What I'm going to do is ask for a portal to be opened up by my God to see the relationship between Lisa Presley, Lisa Marie Presley, excuse me, and Jane Doe One, okay? Just, just a second, family. Okay. Three of Swords here in reverse. It's a very, very strong card. Okay, and I'll try and hold it properly for you. Lisa is very, very upset. Very upset, heartbroken. But you see these three swords here? It's like Lisa had warned this lady. Jane Doe One had been warned by Lisa. Her interaction with this guy Masterson, it wasn't the first interaction she had with him that was too close for comfort or leading to an actual assault. Lisa was heartbroken. You know, Lisa is a very good friend, very, very good friend, because she didn't judge Jane Doe one, but she did tell her more than once that she was doing something where she would harm herself eventually. 
And that sounds so harsh because these women are accusing this man of But there was a run up to this. Tell me more about Lisa and Jane Dove One, Knight of Swords here in reverse. This guy was pursuing, see we've got two swords cards. Knight of Swords here in reverse. This guy, Masterson, disclaimer, was pursuing Jane Doe hard, hard, and not in the right way. This Knight of Swords in reverse is not chivalrous. He's not, uh, doesn't come with good intentions. Jane Doe One knew what Masterson was thinking and what he wanted, what his objection, what his objective was. And this was discussed with Lisa and Lisa discussed this with her. This is all before the alleged attack took place. Um, Ola de Mare. Thank you for those cards. Now the portals opened up. What happened between Masterson and this lady, Jane Doe One? We've got the emperor here. Something has come up, family. Hold on. And the devil card. <clears throat> See that emperor in reverse here? That's not Masterson. It's not Masterson. See, the, the orders, disclaimer, came from the emperor. Some very bad orders came from the emperor. This is a case where, you know, the emperor doesn't really make decisions. It's his council that makes the decision and the emperor will just uh, sign off on it, so to speak. <clears throat> well, this is the emperor's actions here in reverse. We also have the devil card here. <clears throat> this man and this woman here chained to the door of Scientology. We got three women, Jane Doe one, Jane Doe two, Jane Doe three. One of them women is lying. One is not being honest. Danny Masterson, there is an element of this trial disclaimer in which he is the full guy and this is all a lot more heinous than people, than the evidence suggests. Because see this emperor here in reverse? This is not Danny Masterson, even though he's the one who's on trial. The clarification card for the emperor here, and there's, the terrible energy on this, of course, there's terrible energy on this devil card here. The chains refer to a physical chaining and restriction and uh, a cutting off, like putting people to the side, putting them away in a place. Do you remember in Matilda? There was the choking, where naughty students would be put in the choking if they were naughty. If Mrs. Trunchbull caught them flouting her rules, whatever the rules were that day, for punishment, she would lock them in the choking. Well, this is what's come up here with this here devil card. Now this energy I've called on in respect to Lisa Marie's involvement, possible testimony in this. 
So even though I'm not speaking directly to Lisa Marie's spirit, this is a message from her. We have been given this information because Lisa Marie Presley's spirit has allowed us to have it today. Now, the Knight of Swords in reverse, that is Danny Masterson, disclaimer. But this Emperor in reverse is not Danny Masterson. This devil here is not Danny Masterson. Um, any more messages from Lisa Marie Oladomare? <clears throat> Strength. Justice in reverse. Lisa is saying there will be no justice in this case. Lady Justice here in reverse. And then the Strength card. This lady here, this feminine energy here, I'm not sure exactly who she is or if she's supposed to represent Jane Doe 1, 2, and 3. But we have this lion here. And this seems like a long, constant energy in regards to Scientology. This looks like it's spiritually part of the, the personality and character spiritual personality and character of Scientology in that they they it's difficult to dis, to explain in terms of Scientology because even though it is headed by this is very much It's a bit like, I don't know why my hand's shaking. I have no idea why my hand's shaking. This hand is shaking. And it's interesting that we've got two energies here, two female energies here. Within cults, the, the, the female, the feminine energy is very, very important to its longevity within a cult. And it seems to be the case here with Scientology that there is this, they need this feminine energy as its backbone, as its foundation. As much as they talk about, what's his name? Ron Hubbard and the other guy, David Miscovich. The feminine energy is very, very much utilized now I was looking for the other word but the psychic word came up was utilized you see the things that you see Leah Remini This reading is indicating that she's left a lot of things out. She's been very vocal, but she hasn't told us a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff she ain't told us. A lot of stuff. I know some of you are saying like, like. There's a, a lot of things coming up. For example, the study of cells, like like the study of cells, the study of, of, of like skin grafts, some kind of biological unit that they have at Scientology. 
where they're studying cells or skin grafts or something like that, but stuff particularly from women. That's what's coming up. And there's going to be no justice, but justice here in reverse. Clarification card for that. When this, when, when this strength card came up, family, I'm just trying to, like, all different things are happening psychically, and I'm just trying to pull them all together so I can articulate it to you. But the same, as the psychic message comes, I'm questioning them before I can get it out and tell you. Sound crazy, right? When this strength card came up, my eyes immediately went to this mountain at the back. See that mountain right there? And then with this hermit card that just came out, the hermit goes away, doesn't he? Goes somewhere far, he's in the retreat, in the mountains. My mum used to go away to, um, she still does. She used to go to this place in Wales, all of that lot from the church, from the main church. They'll go to these places in Wales. Like a retreat type of thing. A lot of people go there. It's very, very popular with Christians. Secluded. You know, Wales is a very, very... Um, it's a very magical country. Wales in the UK, I'm talking about. W-A-L-E-S. I don't think I've mentioned Wales here before. I've got family in Wales. Of course, there's a load of black people in Cardiff. Go to Cardiff? Yeah, anyway, well, I don't know why I'm mentioning that. But what I was mentioning is, like, there's these places in Wales, like, have a, like South Wales. It's where all the pixies and the fairies and the wizards and stuff are. And they're there, legit, right? All the old ladies, all the old maids. If you, like, Google a picture of Welsh old ladies back in the day. Is Catherine G Zeta Jones, is she a Scientologist as well? Anyhow, so back in the day, the Welsh old lady used to wear like cone hats with lace and lace aprons and lace skirts. Very quaint, but uh, you can see these were witches. Okay. Anyway, I mention it, like all these places, Havadrenis, Abergavenny, Pentwin, Crumlin, all the rest of it. In thine tree, Pedro Pimpf type of thing. That's Welsh. I just spoke. Uh, yeah, the hermit is going away into one of the valleys, the Welsh valleys. I know this sounds bizarre. Everything I'm saying to you is bizarre. I promise you, this is what's coming up psychically. Gone into the valleys. This hermit has gone into the valleys. What are you looking for, hermit? What are you looking for down there? I'm looking for the light. <laughs> I'm looking for the light. The light. So, this is a message from Lisa Marie Presley. Okay. Uh, uh, later on, I'll light a candle and speak to her again a bit more. But, uh, oh, directly, via the flame. But there's something about this hills and valley. Over hills and valleys too. Do, 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 do. Over hills and valleys too. And then the feminine energy. And then this kind of restricted, put away energy here from the, on the devil card here. So is Lisa telling us, this is what I'm picking up. Is Lisa telling us anything about Shelley Muscovich? And, and something that happens with women in Scientology. And this is something that Remin Leah Remini hasn't mentioned. 
one of these Jane Doe's are lying. It was well known Masterson was a creep. But apparently the biggest creep here is not him. There is an element of fall of him being a fall. Well, there's quite a lot here in this reading that suggests that he is a fall guy. And this is highly interesting. This has been a super long video, 30 minutes, 21 seconds. Okay. Auntie Sam over and out. What you can do if you want to, you can timestamp the bit where I talked, you know, did the article and timestamp it so that people can just watch the reading if they want to. It's a bit, it's a long one to unwrap, ain't it? Whoa. These have been some surprising readings today. See what happens when I do readings in the day. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it, didn't you? You said, Auntie Sam, it's so dark. You said, it's so dark. I can't see you. Uh, this is what happened when I do stuff in the day. So <laughs> uh, strange things are happening. Strange. Strange things are happening. If you're looking for trouble. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, that's the Adams family. Anyhow, www.celestialtarotreadings.com. Let me finish this. Uh, I'll finish my Red Bull. Oh, those of you who want to know the thing that I use, I, it was this. It's hand, it's hand sanitizer stroke aftershave. It's ever so nice. Oh, good Lord. This is nice. It's long lasting as well. I can still smell it. Mm. I'll be back later on, inshallah. Hugs and kisses to you. Big up my family. Big up my family here on Celestial Tower Readings. You are very, very essential. Yeah. Put your comments below. See you later on, inshallah. And I want to say thank you to our sister, Lisa Marie Presley. Ah, she got so much to say, so much to say. And should I come back later on with the reading with her? I have to do Ben's reading as well. One of you commented and said, oh, Auntie Sam, I hope the next reading is Ben's reading. That's going to be quite a reading. And then also Red, Red West. I think I'm going to do, like, honestly, I think I'm going to wait a week to do Red's reading. i tell you why. Because he, I feel like he has some explosive, I can just feel it, I psychically I can feel it. Felt it weeks ago. And I told you, one morning I just kind of sat with it. Any time these energies come and sit with me, it happened before, let me tell you the last time it happens. Always Memphis, what is it about you lot? Memphis, anything to do with Tennessee. Your spirits come sit with me and come tarry with me. I'm telling you, you go to my community page, there's a young guy there who they say died from addiction. I still have to do Aaron Carter's reading as well. I ain't forgotten about him. Um, Aussie Witch, Aussie Witch liked that reading. and I did talk with her a little bit on Facebook about that. You know, she, made a, she left a comment on Facebook and whatever. It's under... Aaron Carter's picture, but I got to come back to Aaron Carter, right? But there's a picture on my community page of another young guy from Memphis, right? Big scar, just a nipper. He's just a young. He's just a young boy. He was part of an infamous group. We ain't gonna talk about them. The double R. You know, it's easy to kind of just dismiss them as just some. Um, you know, some little, some gangsters, but they weren't some little gangsters. They were actually quite big. But this guy, his energy, after he passed away, and um, I did a reading on him. I think, I don't know if it was before or after I did the reading. His energy came and sat down with me. My sat down with me. It reminded me back in the day when I used to do the King Von readings. And King Von's energy is to sit on a chair. Hey. 
that time my home was being renovated, you know, we call it. It's got my flat, I had a flat then. It was being renovated. And so I rented a loft, loft. <laughs> and you have to be with me for a long time to see them readings. But yeah, King Wong's energy used to sit on a chair in the corner. And I just ended up leaving the chair there because I said the spirit is sitting on the chair. And he used to do it all the time. Sometimes after when I turned the camera off and everything, it's energy there sitting on the chair. Like he was in. Have you ever seen that thing, the, the piece of art where the man is going like this? Thinking man. Anyhow, Big Scar's energy came up. Just like that. And just sat with me. So I say all that to say, Red, Red West. Not so much sunny, not so much sunny, but Red West. Man. Okay, I'll be back soon, okay, inshallah. So yeah, Ben and Red, I feel like it's another week from now to do those two readings. Dead men tell a lot of tales. They tell a lot of tales. R.I.P. to Elvis, Uncle Elvis. R.I.P. to Red. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what I let myself in for with that reading. Oh, oh, Lord. The man is like a titan in spirit. And, of course, Ben. Why well, as I say Ben and Lisa because she's gonna be there in the reading. Ashe bless. See, just talking about it. Okay, let me go now. Have a great day. Inshallah, see you soon. Bless. Chukudal. Ashe.